our next speakers. Their strengths complement each other to create a powerhouse couple who have been married for over 35 years. They started their entrepreneurial journey over 20 years ago and now, with the creation of a nationally recognized fitness program called the Power Challenge that served Fortune 500 companies and now have been full-time with LifeVantage for 11 years. They have two absolutely beautiful children and their passion and desire for each other of you is that you are embodying to make the decision to go all in and take LifeVantage to a billion. It is time right now to show, to show some love for executive leaders Gabe and Jill Pearson. keep standing up. Gabe and I want to give each and every one of you today some love and appreciation for being here, for being at this celebration, this new beginning. And continue to stand and we want to recognize our entire corporate staff, our field advisory board, and a special shout out to Tyler and Tasha Daniels and Rachel and Tony Picard. For Carl. <laughs> and another special shout out, I can't see you, but to our Chief Sales Officer, Kristen Cunningham. Her energy and her, of course, her incredible sense of humor. Great job, Kristen. And let's take it up a notch. Let's hear it for our Chief Executive Officer who is totally heart-centered, you guys. Our Chief Executive Officer, Steve Fife. Yeah. Now take a look at this moment. This is a snapshot in time. Look around, this is it. This is history in the making. Have you ever imprinted certain memories like this? Snapshots, photographs of time, maybe the, your first kiss, your first love, birth of a child, or death of a loved one. I have all those in my heart, including this one. During the 2009 recession, we lost most of our cash flow from our wellness company, our income. And I walked into my, I'll never forget, I walked into my master bedroom closet, curled up into a little ball on the green carpet, and I prayed for answers. I was so scared. That was a snapshot of a divine connection. Who believes in divine intervention? Anybody out there? It was a sunny, warm afternoon on a Friday. I received a call from Jeff, who was an executive that I was training. And he tells me that he forgot his gym clothes and he couldn't work out that afternoon. Immediately, I know he's heading to the golf course. And I said, Jeff, I need to get your body measurements. I need to complete this company challenge. I'll meet you at your gym. Certainly a place I wasn't supposed to be. There, I happen to see a good friend, Neil, that I haven't seen in years. And what makes this story even more divine? Neil was sick as a dog. And the only reason why he was there was to use a steam room. Surprisingly, he calls me the very next morning and he goes, Hey, Gabe, would you and Jill like to go on a seven day free Bob Proctor self-help cruise. My response, who's Bob Proctor? Does a bear blank in the woods and what's the catch? Of course I wanna go, right? So Jill and I go on the cruise because it's free and we haven't had a vacation in years. And now we're starting to understand why it's free. All around the ship you see these self-help professionals selling their services. 
And thanks to Jill's grandmother, we were able to buy in to a corporate speaking school where I graduate a few months later. I was one of 22 graduates to be chosen to speak at one of their events in Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during the same time in New York, a complete stranger named Susanna was cleaning out her attic, finds an old yearbook, and you see a photo of an old friend she hasn't talked to in 40 years. Decides to visit her friend in Atlanta. While there, her friend invites her to the same conference where I'm speaking. After my keynote, Susanna is first in line. And what's even crazier, she just enrolled as a Life Vantage consultant a week earlier. She had the courage and the belief in herself to come up to me and ask me if I've ever heard of a product called ProTandem. Would I be willing to watch this nine minute video on ABC News? What if Jeff wouldn't have called me? Wouldn't have been in his gym. Wouldn't have seen Neil, wouldn't be on the stage right now. So each and every one of you, there is a reason why you are here. Your universe is opening as we speak. After watching the video, which by the way, blew me out of the water, I validate ProTandem and RF2, the few Mayo Clinic docs, made a decision to become a Life Vantage consultant. As Jill said, we just lost three huge contracts in 30 days. This was my way out of our financial mess. I had the burning desire. I was on a mission to make $2,200 a month to save me from the embarrassment of having to take my kids out of private school. And to make that happen, I made a decision to go all in. My thoughts, all in. My feelings, all in. There wasn't a shred of doubt in my mind I could do this. So I went into massive action, invited 40 people in two and a half days to the launch of my new business, 25 showed, 16 enrolled within a week to 10 days. 30 days later, I had the honor and privilege of being up here on stage as we do now, presenting at the very first Elite Academy in October 2009 in Salt Lake City. My topic, the two minute drill. How I hit MC2 in 30 days. Gabe's thoughts and feelings, his burning desire, his belief in himself and his mission, his goal. It was so powerful. You could feel the frequency, the energy, the power. People would just be attracted to him like a magnet. The law of attraction in play. He would say, hold on to my coattails because I'm going with or without you. However, that was not me. After that same event, I remember flying back to Jacksonville, Florida, and I was so excited. I ran over to my neighbor Natalie's house, and I shared all about our flagship product. And I remember she said to me, Jill, when you stop being so sick all the time, maybe I'll try the product. And I remember feel I, I was so hurt. But maybe she was right. Maybe she could see the cracks in my soul as we were coming through the worst recession of our lives. But I was not aware, I wasn't conscious of this, that I did not believe in myself. And I was not clear on the mission. I was not all in. What about you? Do you believe in yourself? Collectively, all of us, do we believe in the mission here at Life Vantage? Are we all in? If we, listen them, and I say this with love, if we were all in, would we have reached our goals, our desired ranks? Again, with love. If we were all in, wouldn't we be a half a billion dollar company? Tonight, look at yourself in the mirror. Almost instantly, the thoughts and feelings that do not serve you will reflect right back at you.
and ask yourself these tough questions. For example, my biggest fear in building my business is reaching out, standing in front of the room, the stigma of network marketing, leading leaders, leading other leaders. Your results, lack of results, your life is a direct reflection of what you think and feel every single day. So for the last three, 13 years, I've been working and working on changing how I think and how I feel. However, the last 90 days, my son Gabriel, he's given me a wake up call. This August, Gabriel and his best friend Morgan fly back from San Diego, California to Boca Raton, Florida. After, a, after all summer long, selling solar panels, you know, door-to-door -door sales before their sophomore year in college. And when they come back, they're just different. They, their eyes look different. And all you can see is a burning desire to be the best personally and professionally. So they start up their own, very own solar company with a full load of classes in Morgan's dorm room. Now Gabriel, my son, he refuses to sign up for university housing. He wants to create his own story, his own path. So instead he lives, he lives in Morgan's room. He squeezes in Morgan's room. You can see, you know, the, the dorm room with one twin bed on one side and one twin bed on the other, and he's sleeping in a sleeping bag right in the middle. And then another one of their buddies, you know, one of their business partners is like crunched up in a closet with his blinky. <laughs> but this is Gabriel and Morgan's team. This is what all in looks like. Exercise on the beach at sunrise, read 50 pages a day, daily devotionals, and then they go into massive action, interview, recruit, train, a team of entrepreneurs just like them. Then they knock on doors until dark. One day, my son Gabriel says, Mom, have you ever read the book Thinking Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill? I said, oh yeah, in, in my 20s, you know, like in my 20s. He says, you want to double your business, right? Have you written that goal down? And I said, like sort of in my, my work notebook, Kristen. <laughs> And then my 19-year-old son begins to mentor me on how I must follow these six steps in order to reach my goal. A system that Napoleon Hill proved with his very own son who was born deaf and mute. Diagnosed for life, deaf and mute. A powerful story of, of it's like a love story, of a father's burning desire a vibration, a frequency, a power that literally, physically, listen, physically, just not mentally, changes the child so he could hear eventually, speak, and contribute. These are the six steps. First, fix your mind on the goal. Determine what you're going to sacrifice. Establish a definite date. Create a plan. Write down that plan. And before you get up in the Morning, read it, and before you go to bed, read it. But this is key. You need to see it. You need to see the goal, right? The burning desire. You need to feel it. And you, you need to believe that at your, you already have it. You're already in possession of it. So my son, Gabriel, he shows me his plan. It's seven pages laminated. And I'm like, oh. you know, shame. This is an excerpt, I'm gonna read quickly. I will continue to spread God's love and I will surround myself with nothing less than the best in the world. I will be so intent on finding the best people in the world to mentor me in different areas, in different industries in life. I will soak up all their guidance and wisdom and share it to those who have desire. I will get my company producing a hundred million dollars in revenue. 
These kids are on another plane. There is no stopping them. A clear plan, massive action, a magnet to attract and manifest their burning desire. But, but not their college studies. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan's mom and dad are so upset. They drive down from Boca Raton. They drive down from Jacksonville to Boca Raton, Florida. They unenroll Morgan from Florida Atlantic. They unenroll him from the university, Florida Atlantic University, cut off all financial support. They walk into Morgan's room, gather up all the dorm room life. They take it out and dump it on in front of the dorm like on the sidewalk. You can see the students walking by, whispering. You see Morgan crying. You see the boys comforting him. You watch as Gabriel drives up in his black Jeep and they load everything. They load all the contents in the Jeep. These kids did not break. They are all in. But now the boys have no place to sleep or have their meetings. So. Then just a few days later, Gabriel calls me. Mom, you're not going to believe this. Morgan and I attended a fundraiser for the homeless last month, and we met this guy named Edward, who owns a finance company and his fiance Maya as they were like breaking down their booze. We've been having meetings with them since we met them. And they, they offered us an office space and a place to live for free. And I'm like, you know, all the mommy alarms go off, all the red flags go off. <laughs> However, think about this. Think about this for a minute. If you were listening, this was in Gabriel's written plan. Quote, I will be so intent on finding the best people in the world to mentor me. Gabriel's mentor, Edward from Cornwall, New York, and Maya have created what feels like another family, like here at Life Vantage, for these boys. Expanded their mind in finance, but I think even more powerful. They have been an example of giving back a legacy that will endure. A couple days ago, I asked Edward, what did you see in these boys? And he said, and you can't make this stuff up, he said, with his New York accent, their energy was so powerful, you could just feel their energy. Woo! Woo! The power of belief. Have you ever been so excited, so passionate, about something, maybe an event that you couldn't sleep the night before? Well, I'm describing myself in the last 45 years. I bleed garnet and gold. I am a neurotic, fanatical Florida State University football fan. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it all began with falling in love with a legendary football coach, Bobby Bowden, and what he stood for. How he created one of the most iconic brands in all of college football. His players loved the fact that he would play anyone, anywhere, anytime. I admired who he was off the field more so than on the field. His North Star, God, family, football. You watch as these players attend church every Sunday and there was no cursing amongst the coaches and players. Always teaching his players the importance of strength of family. You watch Coach Bowden in the living rooms, developing the relationships with players' mothers, promising he will be a father figure in their lives. Then football, Coach Bowden's relentless pursuit of being all in. At every team practice, on each play, it was 100% effort. He would say, you are all in or you do it again. His North Star programming fundamentally changed the thoughts and feelings about themselves, creating a brotherhood so strong, it became arguably the most successful football program of all time. 
their winning record is a direct result of how the players think and feel about Coach Bowden's North Star, and most importantly, about themselves. Guys, they're all in. The results, too numerous to mention, but one record that will never be broken, 14 consecutive years as a top four program of two national championships. His legacy lives on today. When he passed away in 2021, I promise you I wouldn't get teary-eyed when I was practicing this. It broke my heart. You know, I actually cried. He was a father figure I never had, my very first mentor. He gave me a set of principles to change my thinking and feeling to create a foundation to live by. Just last year was FSU's first winning season since 2016. So there hasn't been a lot to celebrate, at least in the Pearson household. <laughs> and put it in perspective, in 2020, FSU hired their third head coach since 2017. That man right there, Coach Mike Norvell, now starting his third year of his, listen to me, all-in principle that the entire football team has embraced and, and, and lives by called the climb. He says, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about one word, climb, because I believe everybody in life is on a journey. Ever since I started this game, I have the pursuit of one thing, and that's to be the best. The climb that his players have embraced and lived by is an acronym. C is for commitment. L for little things, I for intensity, M for mental toughness, B for brotherhood. Just like Coach Bowden, through intense all-in programming, the climb, Coach Novell's North Star, he fundamentally changed his players' thoughts and feelings, their beliefs about the team, again, more importantly, about themselves to move his entire team into activity. Understand this, your success comes from believing, changing your thoughts and feelings. Coach Norvell says, <clears throat> be your very best on the next play, one play at a time, do it again and again and again. Their results top 20 last year projected as top five this coming year. Our CEO, Coach Fife, <laughs> has made similar adjustments to his all-in game plan. Yeah. Whoa, Woo! baby! Woo! To make Life Vantage a legacy company for all of us. With a plan of action that began roughly two years ago, his North Star, bringing into focus our new mission. We offer people around the world a better path to wellness and a healthy, vibrant life. He recruited new team members, brought in a consulting company to enhance our compensation plan to make it one of the best and most modern in our industry. Implementing incredible sales initiatives, rolled out a series of events around this world leading up to this weekend, this celebration of Evolve. But more importantly, our beloved CEO, Coach Fife, he is, listen to me, the heart and soul of Life Vantage. He's all in for each and every one of you. So guys, gals, this is how I see it. He's given us the new shiny and bright stadium, brand new facilities, the new weight room, new uniforms, we now have all the tools with, by the way, more coming. Now it's up to all of us, every single one of us. It's game day, baby. It's time to put on those new uniforms, right? To huddle up, everyone. It's time to execute, time to go to work. Remember, team, listen to me very carefully. Your current life is about your past thoughts. You have to truly believe Life Vantage is the vehicle to impact lives around this world. People are on their hands and knees praying for answers. 
Let's be their answer. We know you can do this. Now I want the whole auditorium to stand. Stand with me. Come on, baby, it's go time. Imagine what we could do together as One Life Vantage. A force where you can feel and where others can feel your frequency, your vibration, your power of your all-in belief. Together a force that propels this company to a place it's never been. Just like Napoleon Hill, just like Coach Bowden, Coach Norvell, and Coach Fife. Look around everyone. I want this moment to be your snapshot and print forever. I truly believe this weekend is a defining moment, a celebration of a new era, a rebirth. And I challenge you to hold on to these coattails and let's do this together and take this company to its first goal of a half a billion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage.